this silly, ridiculous, uh, kind of cynical contest to see um, who would donate the least amount to the campaign. It has to be an amount also, I guess, that nobody else has donated that same amount. Whoever donates the, the lowest amount that nobody else donates, they win something. It's not clear exactly what this person would win from donating to the Pete Booty Judge campaign, the smallest, I guess, unique individual amount, you could call it. And, you know, so the timing of it is, you know, obviously a little bit suspect and questionable. So after, you know, Pete got called out pretty brutally during the last Democratic debate by both Elizabeth Warren and, you know, Bernie Sanders for, you know, is having these, uh, you know, fundraisers and this, you know, wine cellar and all these crystals. And Bernie pointed out how... He had, you know, a couple of dozen billionaire supporters, as well as the fact that it's towards the end of the uh, quarter for like their financial filings. So if they're able to, you know, get a bunch of really small donations right now, then it'll look better for his campaign to show that it maybe has some actual, you know, grassroots support, which doesn't really appear to me that it does. So... You know, the Booty Judge campaign wants to drive down the average donation. So the Booty Judge campaign currently, I believe the average donation is around $40 or so. Bernie's average donation to his uh, campaign is about 18 and Elizabeth Warren's is 27 So you can see, you know, Booty Judge, uh, average campaign to the Booty Judge uh, campaign is you know over double of bernie's and you know a significant percent higher than elizabeth warren's as well so you know they're wanting to have this cynical ridiculous contest to drive the numbers down instead of offering you know uh policy and policy platform and a ideology that you know a grassroots support would organically you know, come up around that and support a candidate when they're actually offering, you know, positions and policies that would benefit the people of the United States. That's why Bernie's had the most, you know, individual uh, cam campaign contributions in history, as well as, you know, just a huge, huge grassroots support in terms of, you know, all of the different volunteers that are supporting Bernie Sanders. And, you know, he doesn't have to have some type of ridiculous smallest donation contest those people are already donating in those amounts to his campaign because he supports a vision that would greatly improve the material conditions that you know working class people you know come into contact with in the united states with regards to you know health care education the environment taxing Wall Street, a Green New Deal, all of these different things are going to, you know, benefit these people. And so that's why, you know, there's been over 4 million unique donations to Bernie's campaign because people aren't stupid. They're able to see, oh, yeah, you know, Medicare for all, it's going to save me money. I'm going to get better health care out of it. I'm not have to worry about going bankrupt or people dying from it. That makes sense. I'll support that. I also, you know, support free college because I you know, realize how beneficial that is. So, you know, it's no it's no wonder why, you know, Bernie Sanders has, you know, the most grassroots support out of any camp campaign. He is coming from a populist left position that is easy, you know, for everyday average people to get behind because he stands for the exact same things that will bene benefit the most people as opposed to Pete Buttigieg's campaign that really has nothing to offer except, you know, neoliberal centrist talking points of saying how, you know, unfeasible these really reasonable positions are like, you know, universal college and universal health care, both things that Pete Booty Judge doesn't support. So it's no wonder why, you know, he has to his campaign has to come up with these ridiculous uh this ridiculous uh, contest to see who will donate the least amount. How about, you know, I've donated zero, but I think also a lot of other people have probably donated zero dollars to the Booty Judge 
campaign. So I guess since it's more than one person that's donated zero dollars to the Booty Judge campaign, then we probably won't be eligible for any type of prize, whatever that may be. So just a few thoughts about this uh, ridiculous, cynical ploy by the Booty Judge campaign to, you know, lower or at least appear to lower the average donation that the campaign gets. So it looks like they do, in fact, have some type of, you know, grassroots support after the hammering that Booty Judge has been taking, you know, from Sanders and Warren, as well as from others on the, you know, progressive front for his, you know, being bought and sold by, you know, billionaires. He's also came out and said that he's okay with taking billionaire money as well as he's not going to stop having closed door fundraisers so and then you know with that and with the other policies that he supports he it's obviously doesn't have any grassroots support because the campaign has to resort to these this uh, scam gimmick in order to try to trick people into donating to his uh, ridiculous uh, and you know pointless campaign in in my opinion so those are my thoughts uh, please share yours in the comment sections uh, down below peace and much love